tonight on the dramatic season premiere of Bachelor in Rome. My emotions are all over the place right now. You just never know what to expect in these situations. Two very different men compete for the hearts of the Romans, both fighting for the honor of becoming this year's Bachelor. Everything is on the line here. We reach a point where it's make it or break it. In this controversial season premiere, it's Antony versus Brutus. Who will win the love of the people and who will go home with a broken heart? This is what we've been working for. It's time to finish what we started. They're gonna tear us apart. Wrap your toga tightly and find out on the historic premiere of The Bachelor, Rome. Tonight, we will have two of Rome's most important men trying to convince you, the people, that they should be chosen. For the first time in history, we will have two bachelors. How did this happen? Well, since Caesar's death left all of Rome in tears and with a broken, empty void in their hearts, we decided that we should bring both men on the show and allow the people to choose what should happen next. Will this be extremely awkward and possibly violent? Sure, but hopefully it will give the common people a choice and allow for true love to blossom. I now turn it over to the interview so we can get a better look at these two extraordinary men. Welcome, Anthony and Brutus. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having us. I'm going to start off with Anthony. Tell me a little bit about yourself. I'd say I'm a pretty fun guy to be around. I like to throw parties, and I'd say I was Caesar's closest friend. We worked well together, and he consulted me with many situations. So would you say that you like to, in a sense, turn up? Oh, 100%. And how about you, Brutus? What's your story? I'm a passionate man, Miss Washburn. I enjoy long walks along the Tiber, cooking, and reading novels. If there's ever a Roman in need, I'm going to be there for them. I'd like to talk about Caesar's death for a minute. That must have hit pretty hard, huh, Antony? Caesar was the noblest man I knew. There's no doubt in my mind that he would have led Rome to greatness. I'm going to interject really quick and switch over to Brutus. Tell me, why did you do it? Caesar was not fit for Rome because he aspired to gain too much power. He was going to bring Rome to ruins. The conspirators and I had to take action before he enslaved us all. How do you feel about this, Antony? I feel like a few dogs of war are going to be let slip if a certain senator doesn't watch his attitude. Brutus, I'm going to ask you a question that I'm sure all of Rome is dying to hear about. All right. What is up with you and Cassius? Is there something going on there? No comment. As you wish. On a more serious note, Antony, what are your plans for Rome if you do end up getting the final rose? Well, I think Caesar had something good going and I intend to continue his mission. I also have a couple friends that might be able to help me out and I don't want to give anything away, but I think Rome can definitely expect a second triumvirate. Well, I think that just about wraps it up. Thank you both for he being here, and I wish you the best of luck in your competition. Thank you. Now that we know a little more about our, these two men, let's see how they act in a bit of a more intimate situation. Two lucky Romans will have the chance to go on a date with both of these men in hopes of deciding who will receive the final rose. So nice to finally meet you. You look beautiful. Thank you. You want to take a walk? Sure. I like this blazer. Thank you. So, uh, where do you see this relationship going? Well, there's something special here. That's undeniable. I want to see us, Rome and I. I want to be there for Rome. Take care of them. Provide for them. You're so sweet. It was nice seeing you today. I think I love you. Put her there. Now let's take a look at how Antony's date went. Antony! Antony! So nice to meet you. So, uh, Antony, what does our future hold for our relationship? <laughs> well, there will never be a relationship like the one Caesar had with his people. Surely you don't want an honorable man like Brutus ruling Rome, do you? I know that, but he's dead now. How is this? What about us? Caesar's gone, but we're going to find a way to work things out. With love in our hearts, 
Nothing can come between us. Oh, Anthony. Now it's your turn, Rome. Who won your affection? Who will receive the final rose and who will be sent home empty? Nope. <laughs>